No, we didn't. I think it was just an opportunity, uh, you know, for the defense to have my back, just to settle in a little bit, um, just kind of, you know, get more communication, you know, talk with the whole line, um, just figure some things out. Um, but yeah, I think Jay Reed's pick six was pretty big, um, just for the confidence of everybody. You know, I knew the defense had my back. It was good. What was that his message to you when you found out? Uh, just you know, hold it down. You know, um, you know, he's a great supporter. Um, you know, he always has my back as well, and just like you know, we always have each other's back. So you know, like I said, whether that's we're both on the field at the same time or. You know, I take over for him when he needs it. So he was he was great all game, you know, supporting me and you know, giving me tips if you know he sees certain stuff on the field. Like that but, but what did it mean to, to come in and perform the way you did? I'm sure you had confidence in yourself and James had had confidence, but to get it done when you're down on the road and, and, and make everything click, how much does that help your development and just your your confidence and everything? I think it was big, you know, it was, it was a you know, hostile environment. They do the whole jump around thing, it's a really cool atmosphere. Um, but you know, I, I prepared super well all week, every week, you know, for occasions like this, you know, just in case. So, you know, I had confidence in myself. I just needed everybody, you know, to know that you know, nothing was going to change. We're going to be just fine and you know, pull this one. Out. How were you able to kind of stay poised? Like, you talk about the environment and stuff. How were you able to kind of stay as poised as you were with the game as close as it was? I think because I've been in situations like that before. It, it wasn't, you know, the lights weren't too bright because I've, I've been in big time game, games like that before with the two quarterback stuff, whether that's the Peach Bowl or taking over in Rutgers last year. So this not being my first time in a situation like that, I think helped a lot. What's the, uh, the mentality this week, big game against Ohio State? Uh, you know, it's probably unclear at this point. What your status is going to be? Uh, the mentality is, you know, we're going to lock in. You know, this is a huge week. Um, everybody's already, you know, I think going to put this win behind us pretty fast um, because, you know, we know the stakes of this game and, um, you know, we're going to prepare just like every other week, but uh, I think you guys are, are going to be super locked in this week. Does this give you confidence when you play going into next week uh, if you have to, to be the starter? For sure. You know, experience like this, um, you know, is only going to help. Uh, Bo, how would you say that you, the bond that you've developed with Coach K helped you uh, to be able to do what you did out there tonight? Uh, it's funny you say that because on, uh, I don't know if it's, he probably didn't tell you guys, but on Tuesday um, we had a little bro walk uh, where we walk around. It was, it was a nice day, so we both had our shirts off, kind of soaking in some vitamin D. Um, you know, the relationship's been good. Um, you know, I don't think Coach K flinched, you know, when I had to take over, and that gave me a lot of confidence. Whose idea was that? <laughs> we were both out there at the same time, and <laughs> I had my shirt off. Um, and he was like, should I take my shirt off too? And I was like, yeah. So we were just... Both walk around the practice field with our shirts on. I thought it was maybe campus who was walking around. <laughs> no, no, not campus. <laughs> no. Well, you talked about that Rutgers game. Obviously, you came in for an injury in a different situation. How have you kind of changed from that moment? Obviously, you're removed. Um, I think just, I mean, you're older. You know, I, I have more experience under my belt. Um, you know, and it, Rutgers was my first time in a situation like that. Now, um, you know, I, I've matured more. I've matured more as a, as a passer. I have more confidence in myself from that aspect. Um, so, was, yeah, pretty much those points. Back to Coach was, K. Did he, did he say anything to you post game? Did he give you a little pep talk? Oh, uh, we talked about our bro walk. Um, and, you know, that he, you know, he was proud of me for, you know, stepping up when we went. Well, how did the bro walk connect to this? Uh, because, you know, we were just talking, you know, just going through certain stuff about the season. Um, and, and, you know, I, I actually said I've been, you know, preparing as, as the starter, but I got to put myself in the starter's shoes. It's one thing to prepare like the starter, but it's another thing to put yourself in the mindset of I am the starter. And I have to, you know, be ready for that moment. And, you know, we actually talked about that a little bit, so it's just kind of ironic in a way with that. Was this the first time you used the helmet communication and a 